Hey, hello everybody, this is Jonah Davis. Hope you guys are doing great. Thanks for stopping by today. Today we are gonna talk about changing our ukulele strings. All right, so this is a topic that everybody wants to know how to do and I get a lot of questions about. So I thought it'd be great for me to address it. All right, and talk to you guys about it and show you guys how to do it. All right, so if you haven't done so already, definitely subscribe to my channel. Uh, hit the like button if you get value out of this. All right, and let's get started. So here I have my Ko'aloha tenor, my silver anniversary model, all right, uh, one of my favorite ukuleles. Now one of the first things that we need to do, obviously, is to take off the strings. Now before we get to taking off of our strings, uh, if you have a pickup in your instrument, all right, chances are that it's right behind this saddle here, all right, so even though for this lesson I'm going to take off all the strings one of the things I want you to be aware of is that the pickup is right under this saddle so therefore um, it should be fine but every so often if it moves out of place you know you might run the the risk of it becoming unbalanced you know which means you just have to get it rebalanced but it should be fine but it's good to just be cautious and aware and you know try not to move this guy too much all right, that would be the best thing for you, not to let it move. All right, so we're gonna start here, okay, with our tuning pegs, okay? So here we have our tuning pegs on the headstock. Now what I wanna do is I want to unwind it and I'm gonna unwind it just a little, all right? Just enough to make it loose where I can just pull it over the peg. All right, now I also have here, this is a, a tool that you know you could use to trim the, 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 the string when you're done. There's a winder, and this is for a button, which you would definitely find on guitars, yeah? All right, so I have this, and this will definitely help me unwind faster. Yeah, you see that? And that's all I do with that, okay? So now I think I have it loose enough where I can just go over here and unwind it. Okay, now that I've unwound it, all I need to do here is come here behind the saddle and I'm gonna loosen this wire here, this string. I'm gonna just pull it right out, okay? comes out of the cord. You should be fine. It shouldn't scratch your wood, but it's always good to be safe and cautious. Now, you know, one of the things that I like to do is I like to roll these extra strings once they're done, roll them up and keep them nicely uh, put together so that, you know, they're not all over the place and, you know, you just never know, right? Especially if it's a metal one or a round wound. Uh, string that's not something that you want laying around all right so that is step one removing the strings okay so I'm gonna start working on the rest and we'll move on to the next section all right everybody now I have all of my strings removed okay so now the saddle is here now again quick little reminder if you have a pickup it is under the saddle all right, so this white thing here, it's a saddle. Now it is also a floating piece, which means it moves. If you don't have a pickup, no worries. There's still gonna be play here, all right? But you just wanna make sure, be cautious to keep it in the place and make sure that it's centered. Be aware that it is a moving piece and it can fall out if you did move your ukulele side to side and you know if you stood it up, it would fall out. All right, but again, if you do have a pickup, it's best to just be cautious and just be aware of what's going on. But now here, this is an area where uh, if you're able to do so, definitely take the time to go ahead and clean your ukulele. Um, for me, I enjoy keeping my instruments extremely clean. All right, so here I have a microfiber cloth. All right, now in this microfiber cloth, and then I got some uh, cleaner here. All right, now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray my 
cloth here. Now I really like this cleaner. This is Music Nomad. Uh, and this is for gloss finishes especially. And this thing so uh, smells really good. All right, so I got that from Koaloha Ukulele. Um, so this is a great time for you to start cleaning. Yeah, especially in those hard to reach areas. You know, sometimes we just kind of like let it get all dusty under there. You know, it's good to just kind of give it a nice uh, cleaning, uh, you know, just a pass through. Yeah. Microfiber cloth is always better to use. All right. So it shouldn't damage the finish or anything like that. Um, it's pretty, pretty awesome. All right. So just a quick little brush through. Got all the dust there off. Now here in the headstock especially. All right. Now here in the headstock, it's a lot harder to reach when the strings are on. So now is a great time to take that chance to clean it as best as you can. Um, get around these pegs. Yeah. Now this uke is pretty pretty new. It's one of my newer ukuleles, so I don't have to clean too much, but you know, I do get some smudge marks here and there and whatnot. Okay, so it's definitely one of those things where I enjoy cleaning my ukuleles and keeping them really clean. That's just my thing. All right. Um, get that guy nice and shiny. All right, that looks pretty good. How's it from your angle? Does it look good there? All right. Okay, so our head is clean, our headstock is clean. All right, you got our body wiped down. So we got a nice shine, right? We got our gloss, no streaks, everything's good to go. Now, another thing that we like to do, especially if your frets are dry, if they look kind of um, dry or ashy, um, chances are, they need to be oiled, okay? So you can go to any music store or even Amazon or whatever, and you guys can get some lemon oil, all right? So this is for, this is guitar oil. Um, this is also a conditioner. Um, so I like this, I mean, anything works, yeah? So it, it'll be totally okay, whatever you decide to use, all right? So I'm just gonna do it here just to show, yeah? On how to condition your fret, yeah? So if you notice, starts looking shinier. And you just kind of want to just rub it into the frets. Yeah, get that oil up in there. Add as you need. You don't want to drown your fret, but you know, you do want it to be nice and coated. Now, you don't have to do this all the time, but it's definitely a good thing to do if you see that your ukulele fret, or even your guitar frets really, um, look a bit dry and ashy color, almost gray and white. Um, so it's always a good thing, yeah, to just condition them, yeah? Take care of your instrument, you know, because these things bring you joy. And for some of us, it's actually our livelihood as well, you know? So it's like keeping our car, uh, well oiled and running Okay, so I'll put that on the side now if you notice um, I might have got a little bit of oil on the side, so I'll just go back with my cleaner Yeah, and then I'll just clean around it. It's not a big deal um, But it's something that happens, you know um, Oh look you see that it's moved Okay, but not a big deal. So don't freak out if you ever see that happen, if, it, if it's out of place. Um, it's fine, guys, okay? Don't panic, all right? Not a big deal. We'll just put it back there in the corner and get her all nice and gussied up. All right, now that we are ready to go, this should be drying in a minute. Um, so, you know, it'll be a little bit of oily feeling, a little bit of a slickness there, but not a big deal. Okay, next we are going to start stringing our ukulele. 
All right, everybody, now we are here in the stringing section, okay? So here is where we're gonna start talking about stringing, uh, the do's and the don'ts and the how-to's uh, in stringing, which is actually fairly simple, all right? But I wanna send a special mahalo out to Brother Joel of Uke Logic, all right? So he has provided me with some ukulele strings to try out, and I'm really excited. They're, you know, they, they, they seem extremely cool, so I, I'm really stoked. I'm going to try them out. Um, so I thought it'd be great um, to go ahead and do my stringing with all of you guys, okay? So we're going to start here. Again, special mahalo out to Brother Joel from Uke Logic, and I'll put his contact information uh, here, and you guys can definitely check it out, okay? So here we go. We're going to start with uh, the low G. All right, so if you notice, this is a different type of uh, color string, and it's even, uh, this is gold wound, all right? Uh, so it's pretty cool. To me, I'm a low G player. I really enjoy low Gs. Now, it can be somewhat intimidating to try and use uh, a low G or change low Gs because they're thick, you know, they're thick and they're not exactly um, like the fluorocarbons or nylons that you might have tried. So, you know, they might feel very strange in your hands. Okay, especially when you're trying to change your strings, let alone for the first time. All right, but I'm going to show you guys how to do it because you're going to change your strings just like any other instrument. Okay, let me go ahead and move these things on the side just a little bit so it can get a nice centered position here. All right, now again, you want to make sure your saddle is nice and centered. All right, because aesthetically, uh, even functionally, it just it's not cool to have it, you know, sideways or, you know, too far off to the side. Now, all you're going to do is, now, right here from the saddle side, you are going to insert your string, okay? And it's going to come out the back end, all right? So it might be a little bit tricky because it seems a little bit more firm, all right? Now I'm pulling it up. Now I'm going to give a substantial amount of slack here on this side, okay? So you have the saddle side where the rest of the string is, all right? But on this side, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave some pretty good amount of slack here. Now, I'm gonna start showing you guys how to uh, wrap these strings. Now, there's a way to do it if you're right-handed or left-handed, okay? So now, remember now, this is the G string, all right? Now, if I am right-handed, which I am, Okay, I am going to take the slack, I'm going to go forward, come around, you see that? And then I will go into or under the loop. Alright, can you see that? Alright, now again, I'll have multiple angles. Now let's do this again. Now, if I am a left-handed player, all right, the G string would be here, and the wrapping would be the same all the way to the part where the loop comes. So we're gonna go forward, around. Now, instead of going under and into the loop, because I'm a left-handed player, I'm gonna go over, under. Do you see that? So that'll cause your string to face this way, okay? As opposed to me being a right-handed player, forward, under, which will force my string this way, all right? Opposite, all right? Now that basically, why we do that is so that it doesn't poke your arm. All right, if I am a right-handed player, okay, let's just do this just for example's sake, all right? Now, if I'm going over under as a right-handed player and my arm is down like this, this is facing towards my arm and this can actually poke it, all right? So if it was here, it, it would actually be poking my arm, 
All right, so that's why we don't do that. Okay, so a quick little tip on that. All right, all right, so here we go. We are going to insert the G string from the saddle side. Okay, it might be a little bit stiff or firm, it might be a little bit difficult to kind of get her through, but you will, you'll get it. All right, now normally, you take three wraps around, okay? And what I mean by that, I'll show you in a bit. Okay, so first you're gonna hold your V, all right? So here you go, you got the, all the rest of the excess string, okay, that's going up the fret. Now on the right hand, or on my right side, or the back of the bridge, all right, I have a pretty good amount of slack, yeah? Now, when we're wrapping, again, you're gonna go away from you, okay, coming around, All right, now I want to kind of crimp it because this is a very thick string, all right? So one of the things that because it's so thick, it's very hard to get the wraps tight. So what I found is if I just go ahead and squeeze it and I help it make it tight, it makes it a lot easier, okay? Especially when it's time to, um, to wrap it and pull the, the string. Okay, so you guys see that right there? Hopefully you guys can see that. But now normally, we do three reps, all right? So again, because I'm a right-handed, I'm gonna send it through the loop, so under. Okay, you see that? Okay, got that crimp going. And because it's such a thick string, I am only gonna do two reps, okay? Two wraps should be totally good. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull it here. All right, I'm going to gently put this guy down because I don't want it to really scratch my ukulele. All right, now we are ready to start taking it up the fret. Now as we take our string toward the headstock, okay, now I have a lot of excess string on this one, so it's really good. Like, he provides a lot of string, all right? So, um, that's a good thing, okay? I have inserted it into the peg. Now, one of the things that I like to do is once I insert it, you know, you need to have a certain amount of slack, okay? So, uh, one of the things I like to do is I like to put my fist here, okay? So, it creates a small mountain yeah, and then that just gives us just enough slack, all right? So it's not too much, not too late, uh, not too uh, little. Um, now, once I do that, I can come over here with my right hand, and then I will take the string and I will hold it here. All right, now all I did is put it in the, in the notch, and I'm holding it. Okay, now, if you notice, I want you guys to pay attention to this part. This is very critical, all right? Now, the string comes from the inside out, all right? Okay, so it starts from the center, and it's out. So we're going to turn our tuning peg in a direction where this floats above the actual string, okay? So this excess string will come above. All right, now, when we're turning the string, it's keeping the string on the inside turning out. All right, now, to speed this up, I'm gonna use my trusty little string winder here. Okay, there you go. So we got a pretty good amount of string there, okay? Now I'm gonna take my string winder and my cutter, and all I'm gonna do is here, you guys can see that. I am going to take the string and bend it up. All right, so it's upright. And then I'm going to just go ahead and trim it right at the top of the peg. Okay? Very good. That's one nicely done string. Now, what I like to do always, I like to just, you know, wrap it up. You don't want it to get all over the place, you know. If you... Um, see these things and sometimes when they start to unwind they become pretty pretty um 
destructive if you step on it, you know? It's not exactly the best feeling. Now, we're just gonna keep on going and we're gonna do the other strings. All right, now with the other strings, they're a little bit different. They should be technically easier, all right, because they are fluorocarbon. We're gonna insert from the saddle side, all right? Ah, this strings feel pretty cool. This one is actually a, you can tell it's, it's a hard, uh, hard tension. And I have my V here, my slack is here at the back of the bridge, and the rest here, fret side, on the saddle side. Now again, I am gonna go around, forward, around, and under. Okay, now this one, I'm gonna do three wraps. So two, now I'm gonna do one more. And three. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pull with my left. Now that created a nice little wrap there. Okay, we're gonna go back here to our tuning pegs. Um, now here, I'm gonna insert the ukulele string. Again, you want to put your fist under, right, to gauge some slack, okay? So you see that I'm, again, I'm forming my mountain right there. Now, I'm gonna go ahead, insert the string into the notch, put my finger over it. Now I'm gonna start twisting. Remember now, inside, outside. All right, okay, got my tuning, my stringing, uh, my string winder. I am gonna take this string upright and I'm gonna put it here, okay? Snip, this is now trash. Gonna make sure this guy gets snipped carefully. You don't wanna snip too low and hit your ukulele, all right? So, because that wouldn't be such a cool thing, all right? All right, guys, so I'm gonna finish the rest of these other two, all right? And then we are gonna string her up, we're gonna tune her up, and we're gonna play her a little bit. All right, guys, well, the stringing is done, and we've just tuned up. And I really like the way these strings sound. They sound amazing. So thank you to Brother Joel at uh, Uke Logic. All right, amazing ukulele strings. So definitely check him out, guys. sound amazing anyway guys I hope you guys liked the video I hope you guys got some uh, you know useful information I hope you guys learned something hope you guys enjoyed it especially all right so again my name is Jonah Davis thank you guys very much and we'll check you guys out in the next one